Uh, hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is Q4 of the recent Lico Daily, uh, sorry, Lico Contest from the Bi Weekly. Uh, detect cycles into the grid. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord, and let's go over this problem together. Um, oh, and you, you can watch me solve it live during the contest afterwards, though. I think with this one, maybe it's not so interesting. Um, but yeah, for this one, most of my time was spent just thinking about the problem. Uh, once I figured it out, I think it was okay. Um, so, <clears throat> I don't know how to attack this problem. It feels very one-off. Because uh, for me, for these kind of problems, I always try to think about how to... Um, how to, you know, build reusable components, if you will, uh, to kind of figure out how to learn to learn so that I can, you know, reuse another case. Um, I think for me, the biggest thing, and I had a piece of paper just to figure out different cases, uh, and I was just thinking about maybe different cycles of like length four and then whatever, right? And a naive breath first, or sorry, a naive depth first search is not going to be fast enough because given that uh, each side is 500, they could be up to 500 square cells, uh, which is, 25 something, 250,000, something like that. Um, but too big if you do uh, exhaustive search, right? Um, so the the way that I thought about this uh, during the contest was that, uh, well, because in this case, we don't have to return the length, we don't have to minimize anything, uh, we only have to get the binary result true or false, right? So there was actually, um, so that means that at any time, you, you're able to go to uh, a word text that you've always seen before, then that means that there is a cycle, almost like um, uh, you know the, the classic linked list with a little tail sticking out. But you don't care that it has a tail, you just care that it has a cycle, right? And apologies for not having visualization on board uh, because, I don't know, I have to set it up on this computer, that's my fault. But but yeah, so that given that uh, visualization of just having like this, uh, you know, the classic cycle in the linked list, uh, except for in a 2D grid version, uh, then now we just have to uh, check that it exists, right? Um, and and the, only, the only thing that you would do if you do a naive depth of search um, is that, you know, there is a trivial case where there's a trivial two cycles, right? Uh, a two cell cycle is just if you go from cell A to cell B and then back to A, right? Like, do, 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 right? Um, so the way that we prevent this is by doing something that I actually do in trees now more and more uh, because someone taught me this at some point, actually like recently, well, like in the past year, uh, but is by go keeping track of the parent cell and then not going back. As long as we, so then now you can imagine the recursive core of just like going down, down, and also I should have, hmm, make sure that the recursive stack is enough. I guess in this case they expect you to, they did it for you. Because uh, now I realize that I might have messed up if uh, it gives me a recursion limit. But but yeah, so now you you could look at the, the you know, if, you, if you're able to visualize the depth of search graph, um, then you should be able to, uh, you know, look at just going down the, the list without going back as parent. And as long as you able to, if, as soon as you find uh, a node that you've visited before, that means there's a cycle. Uh, otherwise, it's just a straight line uh, or linked list, even if you want to call it that, of, uh, you know, that will be your visit path, right? Uh, and as soon as you see a node that you've already visited, that means that you're already, you know, being able to loop around because you don't go to your parent. Um, and in a way, it, it, it's, um, it also is similar to like bridge finding and stuff like that. Uh, so definitely, it is a problem that uh, comes up a bit more often on competitive programming, but maybe not so much, to be honest, on interviews. But yeah, uh, so what is the, re the the complexity of this, right? Well, we look at each cell at most once, uh, or at most constant number of times, um, because, you know, you go look at neighbors, so maybe it's like four times the, the number of cells, but still linear in the size of the grid. Uh, being n times m, so it's going to be all of row times columns, and that's the space complexity as well because we keep an visited matrix for that. Uh, and and yeah, uh, I think that's all I have to say about this problem. We'll go over the code real quick. Uh, but basically, I just you know see if I could start uh, a cycle from or just start a chain from a current cell uh, and. For every cell, I well first I mark it as true so that in the future if you come back to it, then you know there's a cycle. Uh, this is also like how you 
this is almost uh, actually now that I think about it, this is like bread uh, bread crumbs in uh, in um, in a maze or something like that, right? That's like the classic Greek myth or something like that, where you you know you leave, well, I guess they also tie themselves, I think. But if you leave bread crumbs in a in a maze, and as soon as you see a bread crumb again, you're like, well. Uh, I've been here before, right? So that means that there's a cycle. You've made a loop. Uh, that's basically the same idea here. Uh, you look at, you know, you look up, down, left, right, and then you make sure that it's within bounds. You make sure that the the color or the letter is the same, so that that's a rounded path. And if it's not your parent, and you visit it before, then you you just mark it as true. If not, then um, you know you do the recursive call. Or actually, I think. Hmm. Actually, I quite could have terminated a little bit earlier, but that's okay. Uh, well, or at least I got a little bit lucky with time limit exceeding. Uh, when I was solving this, I definitely wasn't sure that it was going to be fast enough, to be honest. But uh, but it should have been. It's just that it's always unclear with the code sometimes with like random uh, hidden constraints. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for this problem. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, watch me solve the video next, and yeah, bye bye. Thank you. 
Hey everybody, uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. This is probably after you watched uh, the live portion of the solving during the contest. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and I will see you in our next contest. Bye bye.